On Memorial Day, George Floyd lost his life at the hands of a white police officer in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This wasn't just about one rogue police officer. This was representative of a system, a system that doesn't value black lives. And now George Floyd's name tops a list, a sad list of names of black men and women who lost their lives in the exact same way. And now we have protesters throughout this nation who are in the streets, who are demanding not just justice for George Floyd, but justice for every black man and woman and vulnerable person whose lives are devalued. This is about changing what this country stands for and making this country adhere to the promises it made, those promises to African Americans that this country would be true to its principles of providing equality and fairness for everyone. And people are in the streets now demanding that the country uphold those promises. We have to make changes, simply put. The truth is that race is at the heart of this ugly time in our history. Race is at the heart of broken systems that do not serve black and brown people. Whether it's about policing or healthcare or housing or education, these systems that disparately impact black and brown people and devalue their lives and their very existences have to be fixed. The people are demanding it. And if not now, when? We have to come to grips in this country. And we have to realize that if we do not change these broken systems, this country will never be true to its principles. It will never be true to the values that were promised to everyone. We who believe in human rights, civil rights, and justice have to make a change. We have to demand that the country be different. We cannot have one more name added to the list that George Floyd now tops.